It's a bag. Found the dripping at last. Strange green liquid is seeping out of the pipe overhead. It's also a bag a few feet ahead with something inside. Uh, we're going to need to stop that dripping first because I'm pretty sure something's going to happen if we try and reach for that bag with that stuff being there. I'm not entirely sure. My guess is something will happen, so... Place, Matt. Doesn't quite maybe, wrap around it. Maybe you can't. Uh, sponge? Just soak up the slime. Squeeze the sponge, holding it as far away from yourself as possible. A bit of water seeps through your fingers. You win this time, okay. sponge. No. Uh, I, I say just reach for the bag. Okay, let's just reach for it. Drop its contents of stuff. A key and a chess piece. Oh, another chess piece. Pipe overhead rattles violently. There's a loud rustling, and then... Boom! Oh, we're dead. <laughs> what happened? It's everywhere. Uh, let's... Oh, we didn't die. Uh, uh, scram! Let's... Run! Just keep hitting down! <laughs> I guess. <laughs> it's another tunnel. Oh, uh, yeah, Scrabble but back. we got to, uh... We gotta make sure we don't hit a dead end. Yeah, that, I think if you just keep hitting backwards. Ooh, the green. I wonder what would happen if you go towards the green. Like, what would happen? I'm pretty like, sure. Like, you the just slime get covered in slime and die. You and you die. <laughs> Jesus, how far? How far in were we? Pretty far. It just in. doesn't stop. Oh, okay. Crawling across the floor, you're finally out of the tunnel. You take several appreciative breaths to calm down. The monster blood didn't follow you out here, so you're safe for now. It was monster blood. Happily kick the cupboard closed. Oh, cool. So we have another chess piece and a key with a surfboard on it. Uh, let's see what the key does. It, oh, it's a bathroom key. It's a key to your downstairs bathroom. You, you can tell, tell because, because of the, the surfboard, surfboard keychain. keychain. Well, I didn't know. I didn't know bathroom keys had surfboard keychain. I didn't know. I didn't know it. surfboards indicated bathroom. <laughs> Anyways, so. Downstairs bathroom. Which bathroom is that? Oh, is that the one in the laundry room? I think so. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> the TV turned itself on. A picture's coming into focus. Oof. It looks like <laughs> some kind of ventriloquist dummy. It's talking, but there's nobody there. Who's his voice? Where's his voice coming from? Attention, Town Theater Gallery customers. The mall will be closing early today. The mall. mall. <laughs> we apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. My friends and I have big plans for tomorrow, though, so definitely stop by. <laughs> and if our special guest is listening, he knows who he is. So not us. <laughs> yeah, we're a girl, duh. <laughs> we have a message. You can't ignore us forever. Your fate's already been written. So let's just flip to the last page. <laughs> Leaving the room in silence once more. Oh, it's a good thing you said he, because that means it's not me. Anyways. Uh, the bathroom's to the left, right? Yes. So I need... This. I need super jump. Boom. Turn. And it opened. Let's go in. You don't have to go in the moment, but you decide to hop in. Take one glance at downstairs bathroom and realize this is not a bathroom. It's a dark room. Like photo lab at school. Oh, there's probably we can develop film in here. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like, oh, excuse me. Actually, let's look around the stuff that's in here first. See if there's anything I can take. Photos. A variety of different pictures hang on the line. None of them look the least bit familiar. Take it. Send it out and pluck it from the line. Bottle? Bottle of fixer. It ends the development process and cleans out the chemicals on the paper. Oh, okay. Oh, these are all for development. Yeah. Okay. Those matches in. look like they stick out. Uh, I don't think those are those aren't matches. Those are oh, the tongs. Yeah, take them. Put the picture in there. Oh, it's a take. Okay. Yeah. As usual, you shove this directly into your inventory. You just throw it onto the side of the screen. 
All right. As you need this. Carefully, you don't want to expose it to. Carefully, you don't want to expose it to the light. Expose it to the light. Open the cupboard. <gasps> camera. Oh, camera. Give me. You took the camera away with great care. You hope it's not haunted or anything. A container. Empty plastic bottle. This can hold just about anything. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> take a bottle of nothing. You can fill the sink with something, I wonder. Uh, Wait, um... Detergent. <laughs> Wait. I said go over to the sink and hit the film option. The film. Fill option. Let's see what it says. Oh. Oh, it just turns off. Water out of the faucet filling the sink. Alright, that's probably useful for something. I, yeah. Uh, detergent. <laughs> Try it. You fill the water with soap. You gently squeeze the bottle, not quite enough to make soap come out. Instead, it creates several tiny bubbles that float from... That float for several meters before popping. Delightful. Okay, it didn't do anything. Let's try yeah. this. Pour a drop of soap on the floor and move it around with your foot. Why on the floor? <laughs> you know, in the right setting, this would make a great substitute for ice skating. What is this game? So, it did nothing. Could you just say nothing happened? Yeah, so nothing happened. Oh my god, okay. Put so many horses <laughs> are into the sink. <laughs> <laughs> so much water on so many horses. Approximately it's centered, then slam it shut as hard as you can. You thought you thought your thoughts drift to horses. Okay. Yeah, you just <laughs> looked at the book. Now I'm thinking about horses now? Yes, because that's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> you clang the tongs together in the air. Clank clack clack. <laughs> oh, okay. Well I can't do that. Like, it says I don't want to expose Let's see. Shallow tub is filled with clear liquid. Okay. I don't think there's anything we can do in here for now. No, I can't develop Probably. this old photo that this kid gave me. Probably not. Uh, let's look at the camera. The haunted camera excused a mysterious aura. Its pictures might reveal things you can't see normally. Uh, use the camera? Okay, well, you I didn't the... do anything. What? Oh, you can't. I, well, I, I tried to use the camera on the tub to see if it would take a picture, and it, it wouldn't let me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else, so let's, like, go... You might as well get out of here. I don't think there's anything we can do. Okay. Didn't really seem like it. Can you grab the remote? I can. I, I, remember, I remember that having a take. Like, ooh, remote. <laughs> Test the shelf. There's this puzzle here, but I still have no clue what to do with that, so. There's supposed to be a downstairs bathroom, isn't there? So you can get a I password thought, to the computer? I thought that was the downstairs. I think it's, We are downstairs, right? I think it, yeah. I think that was supposed to be. But yeah. it's a different room. Oh, okay. So maybe we can't get... So maybe that just means that we can't get the password to... Use the computer. Maybe not. Hold on, I'll check again, just to be safe. Uh, brings up dark areas of the image. Okay. It helps me see the dark areas better. It helps. Oh, the light. You don't want to expose it to the light. Yeah, that's what it says. So because there's like something else the I photo. have to do, but I don't know what. Alright, I'm going to get out of here. Here's something. I was going to say, I have no clue what to do. Um, it says on the clock, use the screwdriver on the 1988 tab until it comes off. The 1988 tab? Yeah. So examine it. And then screwdriver on the 1988. This one? Yeah. I don't know how you would know that. Actually, let's try something real quick. We're gonna call someone. You, know, you dial 411, hoping for some information on what's going on. Chirpy voice begins Thank you for calling information. Due to an unexpectedly large call volume, all our, opera all our operators are busy. Please use our automated system to seek out the answers to your question. 
Um, movement. Have you considered your control options lately? Life can be more fulfilling than pointing with a cursor and selecting options from the drop-down menu. For example, traveling between areas is a breeze if you press the if you press and hold the directional button. This is also a handy way to identify any unlocked exits from your current area. Main menu. Selection. If there's one constant in life, it's selection. We as a species are constantly selecting things. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a way to speed up the natural act of selection? Good news, there is! Obviously, the most basic way to select thing is with the A button. Obviously. Are you calling me basic, you bitch? <laughs> but sometimes you know exactly what you want and don't need a verb menu to get in the way. If that's the boat, if that's the boat you're in, try pressing ZL instead. That automatically looks at objects. Want to take user otherwise interact? The ZR will perform that action immediately. Main menu. What? Wait, what? They're pressing A and doing like looking. So you can stuff. hit ZL when the cursor is over something, and it will immediately look at it. And you can hit ZR, and it will use something. Yeah, if you have your cursor or if you have an object over it, hit ZR, then you don't have to go through a menu to select it. So if I put my cursor over something and hit ZR, will it use an, the correct item if I have it? Oh. Because it might do that. Inventory. The inventory is valuable. It's where you keep all your stuff, after all. You can instantly jump to your inventory by pressing the X button. You can select inventory items the same way as any other object. As your inventory grows, you won't be able to view everything on a single page. You can navigate through your inventory quickly using the L and R buttons. Oh, okay. Me menu. That's it. And then you hang. Get tired of hacking through the phone tree and hang up. You can always call later if you have any questions. So if I do that... Oh, it just looks at it. Move in for a closer. Yeah, you don't... You don't have anything technically selected from your inventory, so I don't think it'll work. The screwdriver on. 1988. Wedge the screwdriver under the 1988 tab and push. It pops off immediately and clatters onto the floor. A shriek oh. echoes through the house. Sounds like it came from the entryway. It rings in your ears before abruptly stopping, as if it never happened at all. Uh, I don't like that. <laughs> Someone didn't like that. <laughs> it's like, what did you do? My clock is ruined! <laughs> Was it the girl? I don't think they've moved. Oh, she's gone. Just one ghost remains, haunting the entryway. Yeah, she's gone. What the hell? Did we just... Did we just remove her from existence? Wait, is that a reference from one of the Goosebumps episodes? Is it? Because I remember, I remember that one episode where the dad got a cuckoo clock from like a from like a place, and he puts it in the uh, room. Um, and he has like a son and a daughter. What the son ends up doing because he doesn't like it is when the cuckoo bird comes out, he turns the head backwards, and so like every and so like every day he goes back instead of he goes back in time instead of forward in time, so he gets younger, and eventually he gets to a point where he's a baby. And, you know, the sister isn't around because he's too far in the past. Mm -hmm. So, in order to stop going backwards, he has to find the cuckoo clock and turn the head forward. So, he goes back to the present day. And what ends up happening is, yeah, he finds the place. And um, when the cuckoo bird shows up, well, before when he was climbing to get to it, uh, like, something happened. I think something, like, tipped over and knocked out one of the year tabs. And so, when he clicked, and so when he finally clicked the head forward, he went back into the present. And as it turns out, that year that he knocked off was the year that his sister was born. And so, since that year was knocked off, his sister isn't around anymore. Oh, I remember that one. <laughs> I don't know how they would hint at that. So, was that a that. reference? I don't know how they <laughs> would hint at that in this game. Or if you're just expected to know that. But, I guess anyway. that's what happened. <laughs> Apparently. And so, since Anyways. we knocked off 1988, was that the year the girl was born? And so, she's just gone? It could be. <laughs> Let's call brother. <laughs> Sorry, your brother doesn't exist because he was born on the Dial same year. Dial your brother's number. You, oh, yeah, Chad. Yeah. I forgot. I've reached Chad, except you also missed Chad. Sorry. I'm probably busy doing something important. 
Or at least something, whatever it is. You could, like, leave a message, though. That'd be cool. I might call you back if I remember. What a Chad. <laughs> That's why his name is Chad. Because he's such a Chad. Yeah, let's try calling Mom. Mother! <laughs> Ring flows twice before she picks up. You bored? Sounds like you should probably get some study in, hmm? If you have any questions, remember your father's computer is in the study. You can use the internet and look up anything you don't know. Okay. She hangs up. So they want us to use the computer. But I don't know what the password. I don't know what the password is, and I'm not sure if there's any hints to do so. Um. I don't know. <laughs> um. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look up what to do. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna like wander around some. Uh, laundry room. Already got all three of those items. There you go. Here's a dark room. Yeah, that was the room we were in. Okay, it says grab the haunted camera and container on the upper cabinet. Oh, I went into my room. Oh, we can actually be in here. Set foot in the bedroom. A wave of relief washes away your appre apprehension. Yes. It it's changed. It's except unchanged. For, oh, it's unchanged except for one conspic conspicuous. Conspicuous addition. Conspicuous. What, the ceiling fan? It's or the moving. Chest, the chess table? Try the chess pieces on it. Play. Here's one thing that doesn't belong. You never had a chess set. Seems like somewhat an antique model. Try the chess pieces on it. But I only have two pieces. Well, then put them on there and see if it does anything. <sighs> Play the chess board. Hunter the board and sink deeply into thought. You're screwed. Oh. <laughs> You're, if you take out the say, bishop, you lose. But there's supposed to be three pieces. I only have two. We're missing one because there's three circles here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm missing one. I gotta find it. Toys, window, posters, dresser. Let's open the dresser. Resulting in ear shattering wood on wood squeal. Nope, never again. That noise is the main reason your clothes are all over the floor. If only mom understood. You don't I don't want, like that. You don't, that... Want, you don't want wood on wood, ear squealing, piercing badness. Nope, sounds like ass. <laughs> uh, nightstand. Don't use your nightstand too much. It's just one of these pieces of furniture that sticks around. Slide the nightstand open. What's in it? Games! Oh, that's right. You stashed some of your favorite video games in here when Rachel came over. She obviously didn't find them. Because Take games the game. are lame. <laughs> but I play games. What kind of game is that? Is that Vega over there? I can't read that. It's so tiny. Zoom in on it. Can you read it? <laughs> oh, now it's so easy. Oh, bathroom. Open that bathroom. At least the upstairs, upstairs bathroom. bathroom. Crank the bathroom. The, ba the upstairs bathroom. bathroom's in your room. I got my own bathroom. Oh, You're it's in the so bathroom. clean. It smells a little musty in here. Say the real question is, what can you do in the bathroom? Cupboard. A mere bathroom cupboard, but it, but it actually hides a laundry chute. Opens easily and without resistance. This leads you to the laundry room. Can I go down it? <laughs> Select it. I can't. Shower. Oh, you can't? Okay. Mirror... Use the sink. <laughs> yeah, we gave day bath, you sink. This one's always drained pretty slow. Probably clogged. Turn the faucet hot water begins to pour out. You drown. <laughs> Game over. Use the sink. You get steamed up. Guest room is in the bathroom? She has a bathroom with a guest who stays in the next room over. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's like connected in that way. Oh, okay. Rug. Rug. They're all just rugs. I don't think that's... Faucet. Turn the faucet. Open the door to the next room. Let's check this room out. It looks nice and cuddly in there. What the... Oh, Jesus. Mom would flip if she saw the guest room like this. It looks like a toy store exploded. Why is this Are you sure we're room? still playing Goosebumps? Why is this the guest room? What? How can a guest room is this? Is that R2-D2? Get him. <laughs> Orange. <laughs> Why is that xylophone like sparkling? I want to click on it, but it, like won't let me. 
enormous stack of toys, doll stuffed animals, maybe even... Ah. Whoa! <laughs> before you can finish your thought, a robot emerges from the pile. He totters towards you before pointing his laser blaster right between your eyes. Do I die? <laughs> <laughs> the Annihilator 3000, you think? It doesn't seem like he's playing. Uh, it doesn't seem like he's playing? What, am I going to die? <laughs> so I might. Is this a robot in here? It might actually kill me if I don't do something. You can't move? You won't be intimidated by a toy. You cr you chunk the you chuck the screwdriver directly at it. Yeah. Shooting a deadly what the it bounces off. Fortunately, it you only yeah, notice it. It shoots a deadly laser second. beam your direction. It doesn't bounce off. Fortunately, you only notice it for a split second. Yeah, it killed me. Really? Try again. <laughs> wow. Okay, so the so robot, we a, go in the room, the robot attacks us, and we have to do something. You get one try to do something and stop it. I won't be intimidated by a robot. Ah, I thought you would just <laughs> grab it and, like, unscrew it to take the batteries out. No, you just chuck it at it. Uh...